Hello, this video is for IXL activity A1.J.8. It is titled Find the Number of Solutions. And the three character code for this activity is Kilo Bravo Papa. So, how many solutions does this equation have? Well, many times you might think, well, so, uh, equation only has one solution, right? Well, we could possibly have absolute value equations. Uh, quadratic equations there's uh, several types of equations that you might actually have more than one solution to so let's go ahead and just try to solve this and see what happens so we're going to start with 5t plus 8 equals 5t so we've done equations on both or we've done um, equations with variables on both sides before so let's go ahead and try to get our equations on each one side so let's say let's go ahead and subtract 5t from each side minus 5t so on the left the 5t's are going to cancel each other leaving us with the 8 on the left and 5t minus 5t is 0 and well, wait a second the variables just went away I get this 8 minus or 8 equals 0 is this a true statement no, it's not a true statement. And it turns out to be that if you start solving the equation and you get down to something to where the variables just go away and you end up with a false statement, that means that there's not a solution to it. Right? You can't find a solution to that equation. So first situation, no solution is whenever we work start working the equation and we take our steps to solve it and we end up with a statement that is not true then that means that there's no solution to that equation so first one no solution on the next one here let's go ahead and try to solve this one we have negative d equals 3d minus 4d so negative d equals 3d minus 4d well let's go ahead and combine these like terms over here right the 4d and the negative 3d and the negative 4d so let's bring down my negative d on the left and 3 minus 4 is negative 1 so negative d right there's like a 1 there in front of it we get negative d equals negative d now you could go ahead and try to divide by negative 1 if you if you're thinking okay well we don't want it to be negative so let's divide by that so we're going to end up with d equals d so i end up with a statement to where i just end up with the variables right and or I could just, it is possible, I could have just ended up with numbers like 4 equals 4 or 8 equals 8. But this is a true statement that D is indeed equal to D. So if all the numbers go away or if the variables go away and you end up in the end with a true statement and you can't really do anything further to it, you've taken all the steps possible, but it equals itself, then that means that there are an infinite number of solutions. And something we'll see going on word in this activity is that this is an identity identity and sometimes I can't spell identity I mean, yeah I think I got that one correct so in this case if you end up with a true statement then indeed there are an infinite number of solutions and it's also called an identity so in the first one you end up with a false statement no solutions end up with a true statement infinite infinitely many solutions and it's also known as an identity what about this one here nine plus six minus three d equals two d minus ten now the truth of the matter is you don't really have to solve this all the way i can look at this and i know it's just one solution because i'm going to looks like i'm going to add three d to each side and whenever i do that i'm going to end up with five d in just a bunch of numbers so it's actually going to solve itself out and I'll come up with just one solution we'll go ahead and look at that 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 3d equals 2d minus 10 well let's go ahead and add 3d to each side plus 3d and those will cancel each other out leaving me with just the 15 on the left and the 2 plus 3 is 5d and minus 10 well, let's go ahead and add 10 to each side to get rid of the negative 10 here that's going to leave me a 5d i'm getting in a hurry 5d the 10s cancel each other 15 plus 10 is 25 and now let's divide both sides by 5 and i get 
D is equal to 5. So here I was able to work it down to just one solution. So in this case, there's just one solution. But like I said, before I ever even did all that, I could look up here and see, okay, I got negative 3D and a positive 2D. Whenever I add 3D to each side, I'm going to end up with 5D on the right, no Ds on the left. And then eventually that's going to solve down to, I'm going to get some equation. But at that point, once I looked at that, I knew that it was indeed just one solution. On the next one, are these identities? Well, remember an identity, I said that whenever we get down to a statement that something equals itself, that that is an identity. So let's go ahead and see if that works out. Here I have 0 equals 10m minus 10m. Well, if we combine these 10m's together, 10 minus 10 is 0, so I'm just going to end up with 0 equals 0. So, yep, that is an identity. I end up with something equals itself. Here I have negative 5 minus 3f equals 4f plus 5. And notice that what they're trying to do is tricky here. Negative 5, positive 5, and you're thinking, hey, you know, those will offset each other. And not so much the case. Let's go ahead and uh, let's add 3f to each side. Plus 3f. And the f's will cancel each other, leaving me at negative 5. And then I'm going to have 4 plus 3 is 7f and plus 5. Now we can see that this is not going to be an identity because we're going to come up with just one answer because now we're down to just 7f and some numbers. So let's go ahead and uh, add a negative 5 to each side. And I'm going to end up with negative 10 equals 7f and then divide both sides by uh, 7, and I'm going to end up with f equals and uh, negative 10 over 7. So, don't really have to give the answer. I just have to say, is an identity or not? In this case, we end up with just one solution. So, the answer is no, this is not an identity. An identity is whenever we get something is equal to itself. On the next one, how many solutions does this equation have? So, I'm looking up here. I got negative or 9s and 9s. I'm going to take those away, right? So we're going to subtract 9s from each side. That means that's going to cancel those out. And then I'm going to end up with 12.2 on the left and a negative 13.38 on the right. So are these equal to one another? No, they're not. So there is no solution. I end up with a statement that is a false statement. And I really, I don't have to solve it or anything. I just saw that I have eight, I had 9 0.8s on each side. Whenever I subtract 9.8s from each side, they're going to go away. I'm going to end up with 12.2 equals negative 13.38, and that's a false statement, so there's no solution. On this one here, I have 8p plus 8, and I'm going to go ahead and distribute this in here. So negative 4 times 2 is a positive 8. The p goes along for the ride, and negative 4 uh, times negative 2 is a positive 8. Well, look at here. I have something equal something, right? 8p plus 8 equals 8p plus 8. This is a true statement. I don't, I, I could subtract 8 from each side, right? And end up with 8p equals 8p. And then I could divide both sides by 8 and get p equals p and get to the identity that way. But I don't really have to do that because I already see up here. I have something equal something. It's the same thing on both sides. So this indeed is an identity. That means that it has just, oh, go back and do that. It has infinite, infinitely many solutions. Here we have 15 plus, and let's go ahead and distribute that in. 9 times 6 is 54j. And 6 times 20 is 120 equals 9j. Well, at this point here, I see I'm going to take, what, 9j away from each side. And uh, so once I do minus 9j, minus 9j, let's move this equals sign here. Move that down. So those are going to cancel each other out, leave me with 0 on the right, and then 54. Minus 9 is, what is it, 45, right? Uh, no, 54. Yeah, 
45. So I'd have 45J. And then I can go ahead and combine the 15 and the 120 to get 135 plus 135. At this point, I know that there is just one solution because I'm down to 45J. I can do 45J, subtract 135 from each side, and then divide both sides by 45, which should be 3, right? 53, yeah. J equals 3. Oh, negative three. There we go. But I really had to solve it. Once I knew that I was going to end up with just a certain number of J's on one side and some numbers, then I knew I was going to have just one solution. All right. Is this an identity? Remember, we're trying to get to something equals something, where it makes a true statement, can't solve it anymore. So let's see. Negative 10C minus 15. And then we have distribute this in. That's going to be negative 10c, and then negative 5 times negative 14. It's going to be a positive uh, 50, 70, right? And then we're going to add 10c to each side, plus 10c, and you see what's happening? Those cancel each other, right? And up just negative 15 on the left and 70 on the right. Variables just went away. I end up with a false statement, so this is not an identity. And as a matter of fact, there is no solution to this equation. Well, here's a long one here. So let's go ahead and combine our 17 and our 18 together. Let's bring down the negative 18y. So negative 18y. Now let's combine our 17 and 18 here. 18, 16, 36, 35 is that? Plus 35. Uh, yeah, 10, 15. Yep, 35. And then that's equal to negative 13y. Negative 5 times y is negative 5y. And 5 times, so plus 35. Ooh. All right, now we're going to combine some like terms right here. See, negative 13y, negative 5y is going to be what? Negative 18y. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Here's negative 18y over here. And let's bring down our plus 35. The same plus 35 over here. I have something equals something. I don't need to go any further. It's the same thing on both sides. I know, yep, this is indeed an identity. How many solutions does this equation have? So... Negative 2 times 20 is negative 40, W. Negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2, equals. Now let's go ahead and combine the negative 20 and the negative 20 to get negative 40. And that is in terms of W. And then I have this negative 2 right here, negative 2. So I have negative 40W minus 2. Negative 40W minus 2, I already know this is an identity. So there are an infinite number of solutions. How many solutions does this equation have? So let's distribute that in. 3 times 15 is 45. Negative times negative is positive, and that's in terms of u. And then 3 times 9 is 27. That's going to be a positive 27. Negative times negative. And then minus 2u. And then equals. Now 7 times 5. Is 35, and that's going to be positive because it's negative times negative. And then 7 times negative 7 times negative 13 is going to be a positive 70, going to be 91, I believe. 91, right? 70 plus 21, 91. Yep, good to go. Let's combine these like terms right here. 45 minus 2 is 43, 43u plus 27 equals 35u plus 91. So I know at this point this is going to be just one solution because I'm going to end up subtracting 35u from each side, which is going to be, what, uh, 8? Then we have 8u plus 27 equals 91. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract 27 from each side 
91, 61, go back up another, what, 64, and, eight to, and then divide both sides by 8, and u equals 8. So I get just one solution there. But I knew that all the way back up here because I knew I had 43u on one side, 35u on the other, and whenever I add or subtract any u's to try to get my like terms on each side, uh, terms of u all over to one side, that I was going to have some u left over. So then that's going to produce just one. Uh, solution. Final question. Let's distribute that 4 into the quantity of 17m minus 7. 4 times 7 is 40 plus 12, 28, 68. 68m minus 28 equals negative 13 and then negative 4 times negative 17 Oh, look, we had that over here. We know that's 68. That's going to be positive 68. 68 m's. And then negative 4 times 7. Negative 4 times negative 7 is going to be a positive 28. I wonder if they're trying to trick us because they think that's going to go away. All right, so um, let's go ahead and combine these like terms right here, negative 13 and 28. So let's bring down our 68 m's to see what's happening. 68, and we have 68m on both sides, so chances are <laughs> that's going to just go away, right? So we're going to end up with a false statement. It's going to be no solution. So thir negative 13 plus 28, the difference between 28 and 13 is 10, 15, right? And the it's going to be plus 15. Good. And then let's subtract 68m from each side. Leaves us with 28, negative 28 on the left, and 15 on the right. Is this a true statement? No, it is not. So therefore, there's no solution to this equation here. So remember that whenever you work it down to where you get no solution, or you get this false statement, the variables just go away, and you get something equals something, and it's not a true statement, that means that there is no solution. And, however, if we get down to where something equals something, here we could have added 40u to each, or 40w to each side, we would have got negative 2 equals negative 2. We could have even divided by negative 1 and get 2 equals 2. Either way, we get something equals something. That is an infinite number of solutions. And um, it's also known as an identity, correct? And then we also have where whenever we work it out and uh, we actually can get just one solution where the variable equals just one value. All right. So those are all of my examples for IXLA1.J.8. Find the number of solutions. Good luck with your activity.